Good afternoon, Jada. It's so lovely to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet you. Thanks for speaking to us. No worries. My name is Kapi. I'm a DJ. Okay. And I'm Charlie Kamal. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. Okay, nice. <laughs> we loved the movie, by the way. It was hilarious. Oh, we watched awesome. it together. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, as friends, watching girls' trips is crazy. Yeah. 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 It's a good, good date night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your character, Lisa, mm -hmm. which, I mean, she's so, you played her role so well. She really, for me, she stood out. Um, I feel like seeing you on sort of take up Lisa's role as a mother who was sort of thinking about her kids while on this wild trip. <laughs> I mean, you know, how did you sort of find the depth to really embrace Lisa? Oh, because I'm a mother, of you know, <laughs> so I think there's a bit of Lisa in every mom. Um, you know, maybe not as extreme, but when you get to a place where it's just like, you, especially when your kids are younger, they tend to just be your complete and utter focus yeah. for a lot of us. Yeah. And so it's hard to concentrate on, on anything else. Your kids are always on your mind, <laughs> always, you know what I'm saying? And so I could really relate to that um, aspect in Lisa and how it can, it can kind of pull you out of your, your, um, your female mojo right. and how it takes a little time for you to get your mm. female mojo back. You guys are young. Yeah. You don't have no kids. Yes. You don't have no kids. Yes. You kind of stay connected to your female mojo. But when you have kids, you'll think back you to Lisa to go and go, back. oh, that's <laughs> what Jada was talking about. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Don't um, lose your female yeah. mojo. <laughs> okay, note to self. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, after 20 years, you and Queen Latifah are reunited again on right. the big screen. So how did you find the chemistry coming back on set with her? How do you feel like that went? Oh, you know, even though we haven't been in front of the camera together, we've done a lot of things behind the camera mm. together. So Laura and I just, we just have a natural flow. Yeah. That's, that's my boo. Yeah. You know what I mean? That doesn't you go anywhere. Tell. You know what I mean? And so, um, and I really wanted to do the movie because Regina was mm. attached, and I, I, I knew of Regina, but I didn't know Regina, and I didn't know who Tiffany was, mm. oh, wow. you know? So <laughs> Tiffany's Tiffany's my new homegirl. You wouldn't even be able to tell from looking at the film. Yeah, yeah. no, and so we really created a beautiful um, camaraderie. We were very lucky to just have a very natural chemistry. Mm. We it, really honestly just adore each other. So yeah, the chemistry. Yeah. My favorite actually scene from the film was the reference back to the set of just before the dance off. So what would you say was one of your favorite films um, scenes to actually film? Um, what was my, one of my favorite scenes <laughs> that we filmed? I really, I like the, I like the dance battles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The dance battles were fun. Was, that yeah. was good. The wigs and all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Well, talking about having fun, I mean, we spoke about the dynamics between the characters. Mm. And, you know, we were actually talking about, okay, who would who do we think we would be? The, uh, right. I'm definitely Dina. Yeah, the you're world, Dina. The, the wild one. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I think who would I be? Ryan, 100%, Ryan. the entrepreneur, be okay, the, yeah, the female it. boss, nice. yeah. But it's amazing how, you know, everyone feels like they can identify with one character. Yes. So, if you weren't Lisa, who do you think you could play? Oh, I could play them all. I Ooh. mean, yeah, I mean, I can, I've been Dina. You've been everybody. I've been everybody. You know, I've been the girl. Yeah, I've been Sasha in that financial struggle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm definitely living the Ryan life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I've, I've lived Lisa. I could definitely do any one of those that. roles. Yeah. And as you get older, you'll be used to the same. <laughs> Good to know. You know a well, well written upon woman <laughs> has experienced a lot of things. That's the whole point. That's, true. Yes. That's so true. Um, and because I'm a DJ, I have to ask you a question about music. So, what would be your top three songs for a girl's trip? Um. Oh man. I know, it's a hard question. Or at least your just one song. Your go to your song. Your go to song for when you're with when your you girls. When you know you're gonna get down. When I know I'm gonna get yeah. down with your girls. The film involves so many artists. So yeah, like, yeah, the so musical music. side. Yeah, yeah, Actually, Diddy. it felt like the, when we were watching the movie, like we, we were like, yeah. The club part. Mariah Carey, it was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, you know, I, I guess I have a more relaxed girl. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I have a more relaxed girl. So when I'm with my girls, I'm always chilling. So okay. you're the children. I'm chilling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I love her. 
that you know the new artist her no I have, actually i, have I haven't heard of her yeah Ooh. she's like a new r&b artist so right. i love her so sexy it's like cool she's, like, right. under, yeah, she's still coming up, yeah kinda. you know what i'm saying so i really love her i love xavier omar yes. mm-hmm. xavier omar um He's got this beautiful song called Blind Man and just talking about the just exalting women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, so check it out. Of life, that kind of I mean, you know, I always put a little re on. Yeah. You know? yeah. You know, and the savagery. Love that. So, Love that. Love yeah. That. Thank and you. obviously, the film involved heavily around sisterhood and sister love, and it literally included every bit of being a woman, especially with the characters. You saw different women, different characters. So, um, is there any advice you would give about friendship to your younger self, to young women, to your daughter, or just to us that you've learned yourself over the years? You know, I just that um, friendship is is really about compassion and understanding. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Because really, you know, a lot of my friends I've had for a very long time, mm. and we've gone through a lot of ups and downs, you know, mm. and that just being able to know when to fall back mm. and allow space, you know, because sometimes in friendships, you just need space. You just need space. People are growing in different directions, mm. and um, you you allow space, but you still have love for one another. And then there are those times where that Come space together. brings you yeah. right back, back together, together again, yeah. even more tightly than you were before the space mm. even started. And just knowing that in relationships, whether it's girlfriends, whether it's you know your lover, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever your get down is, it's like that's what happens. Is that you know everything goes through changes. You know, and so you have to have that understanding. You have to have that deep love yeah. to allow those changes and to always keep the door open. Yeah, that's yeah. a very good point. I'll yeah. take that with me too. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much You're for your so time. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.